You know, Brian, one thing is Dr. Timothy Kremchek joins us. This is almost a house call for him. He did your ankle, he did my hip. It's holding up well. I told him this is good. If, I, I needed a check. Do I get a copay for this? He asked well, me about my golf I, I want a copay. You can probably swing something like that, but yeah, Red's medical director, and thankfully, as you said, Doc Kremchek hasn't been as busy lately. Listen, things come and go in, in professional sports, but right now for the Reds, the first part of the season, for the most part, things are, are good on the health side, right? You know, it goes in circles. Yeah. And about five years ago, we had the same thing without any injuries. And right. I give a lot of kudos to our training staff, Steve Bauman and Tomas Farah and, and, and uh, Jimmy Maddox, uh, our physical therapist, uh, all the guys down there that do a great job keeping these guys day to day. Give a, a lot of uh, kudos to the tra uh, to the uh, players too for keeping themselves in good shape and a lot of luck. But you know the way this team's been playing. Team, you know, the city's kind of on fire watching the Reds. They all live and die by the Reds like uh, we all do. Yeah. Playing very well and teams staying healthy, so hopefully good things to come. You know, one guy i got to ask you about, it, and it's a guy that w the Reds have kind of pinned their hopes on the last couple of seasons, and he's finally healthy. He's Anthony DiScofani. I know that you guys have worked so much with him, and uh, you've got to be so happy to see him out there. No problems. Again, knock on wood and, and, and pitching the way that he's pitching. You know what? He's one of our favorite players. He's, he, he, I mean, he, the, the guy loves baseball, loves pitching for the Reds. He's been down the last couple of years. We always had trouble with his elbow, his oblique. But, you know, he's worked very, very hard. He's kept his head up. He's been in Arizona when it's been 120 degrees in the summertime. And there's nobody happier than us down in the training room to see this young man come out and pitch for the Reds. He's got all the talent in the world. and. I love teasing him about when he hit that grand slam. He came around third base, looked like he's done that about 40 times, and he just still smiles. He got that New Jersey smile. We're all very, very proud of him. He's, yeah. We just hope the best for him. He's, he's a big part of this team. And I think people may not think about that or associate the two in the same way that you guys, as, as team personnel and working with the players, you're still pulling for these guys to succeed, to get back to their potential, reach it, and succeed for this team. That's You have to set, separate, I guess, the medical aspect and then the fact that personally dealing with these players well you're always pulling for guys that that work hard and and and, and want to play especially want to play for the reds that are great teammates and we got a bunch of those guys down in the training room right now and down in the locker room a yeah. bunch of great guys great family guys they're all very close with each other they all want to win and these last few weeks have been an awful lot of fun and you can see it in the locker room you know they're a little lighter they're all hanging out with each other and well i'll tell you what it's great for the city as we get into july into the dog days yeah. you know these guys playing well and all the fans here love watching it so yeah we're a little bit a part of it uh when we're not seeing and not heard it's a lot better that's good and uh, so far so good on that front well there's one guy i think a lot of people want to know about and they hope to see him in the very near future and that's nick senzel you got some good news when they did the operation correct yeah he was seen by hand our hand surgeon and then uh, actually had the surgery in uh, new york city uh, he actually uh, broke a bone in his finger he's going to be fine yeah nick's a great guy big part of this uh, organization as we all know uh, it's unfortunate now for him because who knows where if he would have been up here this year but uh, he's going to do extremely well and we'll rehab him we'll spend the time it takes and uh, we'll see him up here very shortly but again what a talent yeah very talented. speaking of talent by the way you spend a lot of time in the reds broadcast booth with with tom brenneman is, is he going to be okay is I, i'm really concerned though because you know this is a taxing position and job that he has you know tom is uh he's kind of like an annuity i call him an annuity <laughs> you know he kind of gives me job security and i love it uh, one of my great friends great guy but you know, we all have to have something we can hang our hat on every day. I got five kids, you know. It's a little bit of a wreck, though, physically, right? <laughs> you said that, not me. Oh, man. I'll tell I, you. There's HIPAA laws here. I got you. I, I, got I you. do have to say thank you because I do have a draw now because of the hip. I can finally come through the ball, and I have a little draw, and it's made well, it much well, nicer to play. I'm sure it's a lot nicer for you on the golf course not to give the money away rather yeah. than take a little, thank too. Thank you. Reds Medical Director, Dr. Tim Krenchek. Thanks for your time, as always, and we'll see you next time. See you guys. You got Appreciate it. it. Stick around when the pregame show continues here on Fox Sports Ohio. We're back to the ballpark.